in three, two, one. Boom! Ladies and gentlemen, can Alex Volkanovsky become double champ? He is taking on Islam Makachev for the second time on 10 days notice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final predictions. Islam Makachev taking on Alex Volkanovsky. Then you have Hazma taking on Usman Kamar. Kamar Usman, I apologize. Whew. In the very beginning, these fights were bangers because you had Islam taking on Charles Oliveira and you had Paula Costa taking on Hazma. Now, those two Brazilians have dropped out. Here comes the new saviors, Volkanovski and Kamar Usman. Now, I'm gonna start off with the co-main event, okay? The favorite going into this fight is obviously Hazmat. Now, Kamar Usman is taking this fight on 10 day notice. 10 days, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know all us athletes like to think that we're in the best shape of our lives when we're just chilling out of camp. But let me tell you, there is a difference. There is a huge difference when you put eight to 10 weeks in a training camp preparing for a certain athlete or 10 days notice, okay? Now, I can see why Hazmat is the favorite because the gentleman is undefeated. He's 12 and 0. People are gonna believe he's gonna be 13 and 0 after this fight. Now, the thing that I love that Hazmat does very well is that he listens to his corner for the most part. He didn't listen well when he fought Gilbert Burns, but that was a fight. He was in, he went into a war. But when he's taking out Kamar Usman, I feel the biggest thing he's got to worry about is just the wrestling. And also, Kamar Usman is coming up in weight, so he's not going to be as drained. Not that he was drained when he fought at you know welterweight, but he's going to have more pounds on him, so his gassing is going to be a lot better. And supposedly he's in shape. But Hazmat is a different animal. He can strike, he can wrestle, he closes distance. If he knows he has an advantage over you by his wrestling is better, he will take you down pass guard and he will look to submit you. He doesn't really play any games when it comes to ground and pound. He's always looking for the finish and that's what makes him so dangerous. But Kamar Usman is the former welterweight champion. He did get knocked out by Leon Edwards and then he turned back around real quick and fought Leon Edwards and it went to a majority decision. Now, the only thing that I have a hard time with Kamar Usman is that his chin has been tested. You know, he's got knocked out by Leon Edwards, then he fought again, he didn't get dropped, but Hazmat is a different type of striker, right? He throws in high volume, great uppercuts, long rangy, moves good on the feet, and not scared to exchange. Now, he could get dropped, because I know both these guys want to bring the heat. Now, once again, like I said, Hazmat is a favorite, and if I'm a betting man, I'm gonna go have to go with Hazmat. Only reason why is because he has been training for this fight. He's been training for a war with Paula. With Paula Costa is more of a striker, but I just don't know if Kamar Usman is gonna have the gas tank to be able to get him down. But once again, it is a three round fight. It's not a five round war. So, but the favorite is Hazmat. So, I'm gonna have to go to Hazmat for this one. I'm sorry, Kamar Usman, I still love you. Right? You're still an amazing fighter. I just think taking on a big fight like this in 10 days notice is very risky. But like they said, if you don't risk it for the biscuit, you know, nobody's gonna remember your name. So shout out to you for stepping up. Now, on to the main event. Islam Makachev taking on Alex Volkanovski. Now, Islam is obviously the favorite because he was preparing to fight Charles Oliveira, but Volkanovski has stepped up, stepped up and said he can get this done in 10 day notice. And he just came out and said he's going to knock out Islam. He's going to finish him. Now, after going back and watching their fight extensively and my breakdown, if you have not seen the breakdown, do yourself a favor, go watch the breakdown for you watch number two. The biggest thing that Islam has to do is keep the range with Volkanovski with that body kick. Since he's southpaw, he has that lead back kick that can control the distance. And like I said in the breakdown, Volkanovski has to make three choices. One, he either eats it with the X block, or two, he catches it and runs him down for a grappling exchange, or three, he gets way out there, right? 
Volkanovski does a good job of being very disciplined in all in all of his fights. When he fought Max Holloway, Kareem Zami, Brian Ortega, and even when he fought Islam Makachev. He does a great job of working around that lead leg from a southpaw. He shows lots of feints, lots of kicks. And he also, in the first fight, he was having a lot of success when he hurt, not hurt, but when he got close to Islam by going from orthodox to southpaw and then engaging and crossing the distance that way. But how does he approach this fight the second time on 10 days notice? Frank Mir did say one thing that I always, that I always stick with me. He rather do a two to three week camp than do a camp for eight to 12 weeks because he says when he does an eight to 12 week camp, his mentally, he's mentally drained, his body's beat up and he, and he has no pep in his step. He says, I rather fight on 10 days or two weeks notice because I have a pep in my step, I'm fresh, I'm in decent shape and I can go at least three rounds. Now, they gotta go five rounds. And we know Islam's in shape, especially with Habib being his coach. My body is telling me that Islam is going to beat him more decisive this time. I think he's going to use a range. I think he's felt what Volkanovski can do. He's felt Volkanovski's gas tank. And he under, I hope he understands he has a range advantage. If he watches my breakdown, he'll see that body kick was there all day. And then he can force his uh, Volkanovski to come across the distance undisciplined and land that right hand, the left hand, he's a Sapa, excuse me. And he's a favorite, rightfully so, because he was going to fight Charles Oliveira, which he's beat both these guys. But man, I am super excited for this fight, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to see two high level fights like this back to back on one card. And I get to break it down here on the Mighty Gaming Channel. So make sure you guys come back to check out my live reaction. Once again, I'm going for. Man. It's hard. I like both those guys. So may the best man win. And the same thing for the other gentleman. May the best man win. But if I was a betting man, I'm putting my money on the favorites. Put my money on Islam Makachev and Hazmat. It's hard because I like all four fighters. All four fighters are great. Shout out to Alex Volkanovski and Kamaru Usman stepping up late. 10 day notice to save this card. I think Alex Volkanovski taking his fight on 10 days notice is not just going to get it done. I just don't think he can. When Islam Makachev has been training for Charles Oliveira, we, we know Charles is gonna bring a war, so I'm assuming Alex Volkanovski is gonna bring a war, and I think Islam is gonna be more prepared for that gas tank that Volkanovski brings. So he is the favorite to win the fight, and I have Islam winning the fight. Now, on the co-main event, you have Kamar Usman taking on Hazmat. Hazmat is the favorite. And once again, 10 days notice, I just don't think that's enough time to get ready for this type of athletes and this type of strategy and, and fight. Enjoy the fights, boys. And make sure you guys come back here to check out my live reaction here on the Mighty Gaming Channel. Once again, make sure you like, subscribe, and also hit the bell to know when we go live, boys. We out.